Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and I haven't been on in a long while. And so today's video is going to be a bit of what I've been doing and also my June TBR. So first up, I want to say thank you to everyone who has sent really lovely messages or have been checking in with me on Instagram, uh, just asking how I am or that you're excited for like my next video or you hope I post soon. I did see them and they made me feel great um, and kind of lifted my spirits. So where have I been? <laughs> So I went back to school for early childhood education um, and at the same time my husband and I were we were trying to get pregnant so um, yay success I'm pregnant uh, I am almost halfway through my pregnancy now so if you count back that means that when I started school I was also in the first trimester hellscape of nausea so I was reading nothing other than like school stuff and I was just sleeping a lot and I was generally pretty miserable um, <laughs> but now I am halfway through nausea is gone and I've got school covered and I have been reading oodles <laughs> oodles and oodles so that is pretty much where I've been what I've been doing and I have just been really getting into reading for June as you know it's pride month so I wanted to pop up my TBR even though we're into June already uh, but there's two parts to this. First is NetGalley arcs that I have and I really want to get to and the other ones are queer books that I already have on my shelves. So without further ado, let's talk about the NetGalley arcs first. So the first one I want to talk about is Membranes by Chi Tai Wei, who is a queer Taiwanese author and this is translated. Um, this is following Momo, who is a skin grafter, um, and she is basically in charge of renewing people's skin and making them look like they haven't aged, um, and it's for celebrities. And in this world, it's kind of post-apocalyptic, there's environmental damage, so everyone lives in domes at the bottom of the ocean. And what really caught my attention, I mean other than domes at the bottom of the ocean, is that Momo is on a journey of queer self-discovery and self-identity um, and gender expression. So I just thought overall it just sounds absolutely amazing and I cannot wait to get to it. Um, I also want to read Finding the Wolf by Mel 8. So Mel 8, maybe you don't know, but she is an American writer um, who wrote Kelpie Blue that I read earlier this year and it wasn't perfect by any means but I definitely really felt drawn to the characters and really liked Mel 8's writing style so when I saw this on NetGalley I was thrilled. This is about a dragon who is recruited to hunt for a wayward prince um, and the dragon really doesn't want to go because uh, the dragon just wants to stay with their hoard of treasure uh, but he's known as like the best hunter. So he has to go find this prince that has gotten himself lost. Um, and I assume romance ensues. Um, I also have, very excitingly, The Tangle Root Palace by Marjorie M. Liu. Um, this is a short story collection and I don't wanna know anything. I didn't look up what the short stories are about. I just am excited because if you recognize the art, this is the person who is one half of the creator of Monstrous, which is one of my favorite graphic novel series of all time. And I know that this has queer elements. I know it's short stories. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of short stories, but it's Marjorie and Lou. And I mean the cover, I'm just a sucker for this cover. So I can't wait to get to that one as well. I'm really anticipating it and I'm looking for some dark, dark content because Monstrous is uber dark so I assume this one will also have some dark elements. Um, and the last NetGalley one I want to talk about is Star Eater by Kirsten Hall and first off the cover is absolutely gorgeous like the red star with like the bloody mouth like I'm all about it um, but the, the um, plot is a little convoluted so we're following Alfreda who wants to avoid pregnancy at all costs um, because it will kill her if um, they get a hold of her. So instead of 
that she wants a way out. So she's basically offered this shadowy deal by a shadowy like spy cabal organization um, to spy and get information um, and work her way up into the sisterhood. So I know that this has queer elements as well. I'm really excited to read it. So those are the four Netgalley arcs that I will be reading. They're at the top of my list. Uh, the other books that I have on my TBR for June um, are all, you know those videos that we all filmed that are like 21 books I need to read in 2021. So these are all the books that are on that list for me which are queer and I haven't read yet. So um, first up is Tin Man by Sarah Winman. Spoiler alert, I have already read this and it was so good, it hurt me so bad. Uh, we're following kind of two childhood friends, Ellis and Michael, who have just like this very pure, innocent, loving uh, friendship in childhood, and then it grows into something more. But then Ellis meets Annie and things get complicated, and this is just such, whoo, heart-wrenching. And I really loved it, I'll get more into it later, but this is on my list, and of course, I mean, I already read it, so there you go. Um, I also have already read The Binding by Bridget Collins. This one is, oh man, it could have been so much better if I hadn't have read the blurb on the back. The blurb gives so much away. So if you have this book sitting on your shelves, don't read the back. Just here, I'll tell you vaguely what it's about, okay? This is a fantasy world where people can have memories they want to be erased bound into books. And we're following Emmett who has a binder's calling. So he goes to work at this bindery. Um, this also has some queer elements and some forbidden romance elements in it as well. Um, yeah, and that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna spoil anything. But yeah, like I said, queer elements and it's on my 21 in 2021 list. Um, and then if you've been around for a while, you'll know this very well because this is the book that like for years running or I should say poetry collection, for years running, I haven't read. <laughs> it's only a hundred pages and I just like never read it. But, but times are changing because I'm halfway through, this is what I'm currently reading. So this is a Asian American poet who is writing about her queer experience kind of mashed up with being a cyborg and cyborg humanoid themes, which if you know anything. I love that. I love that. So like the other poetry collection that I bought recently was Hum by Jamae Mall, which is also about man and technology and humanoid android things. Um, I'm just, I'm really into that kind of thing. So I'm halfway through and I'll let you know what I think, but definitely if you're into poetry and this sounds interesting to you, go for it. Um, also on my list is The Stars and the Blackness Between Them by Winodra Petrus, who I believe um, is of Afro-Caribbean ancestry, but is an American citizen. Yes. <laughs> and this is following a young girl who, when her parents find out that she has a girlfriend, they decide to send her from Trinidad to America to live with relatives to more or less like straighten her out. However, she builds a relationship with one of the girls that she meets there, and I assume it's a very lovely sapphic romance. Um, I can't wait to get to this one. Um, I also have Call Me By Your Name by Andre Osiman. Uh, Tin Man kind of <sighs> made me think, like, just read it. Just read it. You know it's going to hurt you. You know you're going to cry a lot. Um, but... This is like an absolute five star prediction for me because if you don't know, I bought the ebook and then within 10 pages I was like, no, no, I want to read it in its physical form because I know it's going to make me cry. I know it's going to rip my heart out. So um, I'm looking forward to it, but also like I know I'm going to cry buckets. Um, and then the last one I have is The Grace Keepers by Kirsty Logan. I have attempted to read this before. I got like 20 pages in. And this is a water world premise where Earth has largely been covered by water and there are damplings who are water dwelling people that go around basically on ships and boats, flotillas, and then there are the land lockers, is that right? 
uh, yeah, landlockers who live on Earth, obviously. Um, and we're following Callendish and North. One is a circus performer on a floating flotilla, and the other one is basically a burial guide for people who have passed away, and she helps, like, create their funerals. Um, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm a little hesitant because I've put it down before, but I figured now's the time to try again, and yeah, I hope I enjoy it. So those are all the books that I am reading in June. I'm really looking forward to getting back into it, um, and thank you so much for sticking around, and if you're new, thank you for joining, um, and I will chat to you guys in another video soon. Lots of love. Bye!